Hi guys, I'm Raval. Welcome back to this Agile Scrum training series. This is part three, the Backlog Refinement Meeting. So just a quick uh, table of contents here for the Scrum training series. Um, if you didn't know, this is what it covers. At the moment, we are on part three, the Backlog Refinement Meeting. So what is the Backlog Refinement Meeting? The product owner the development team and Scrum Master need to be present for this meeting. The Scrum Master's role is to manage or facilitate the meeting. The product owner needs to indicate the priorities for the business. The development team aids in breaking down PBIs and estimating effort levels. This meeting does not have an official time because it's not actually an official Scrum meeting but I recommend two hours. So the backlog. The backlog contains a list of features, bugs, or small changes. Items here are referred to as product backlog items, or PBIs. This list contains everything the team will ever work on. Anyone can add an item to the product backlog. And this product backlog needs to be prioritized by the product owner. A product backlog item. This can be a very rough or very detailed description of what needs to be done. A PBI describes the what and not the how. The product owner needs to order the list of PBIs in terms of priority. The PBIs the product owner would like to be done first needs to be at the top of the list. So here's an example of a product backlog. You can see we have various PBIs here and we have some descriptions. We have ad related jobs, university crud, improve SEO, add another featured image. So you can see they're not really detailed enough. Uh, maybe to you it does sound you know like university crud maybe sounds good but improve SEO definitely isn't. Refining PBIs into epics and user stories. PBIs can be very large and unclear. The development team and the scrum master can help break down each PBI into an epic or user story. An epic is the name given to a large feature. A user story is the name for smaller tasks. I'm not going to go into detail into the, to the definition of an epic and a user story because the purpose of this video is to understand the backlog meeting. If you guys are confused or need to know more about a user story and an epic, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to make a video explaining the details. Effort levels. Since we are discussing PBIs in detail, this is the time we should assign effort levels to them. You can do this in various ways. We currently use complexity buckets. We appoint story points to each PBI. This is essential for working out our velocity and estimates for sprints. A little bit more about velocity and estimates for sprints later on in the series, so don't worry about that for now. Again, I'm not going to go into detail on how you should estimate tasks or how to use complexity buckets. Um, if you guys are confused about that, Again, just give me a shout in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to make a video for you guys. So prioritizing the backlog. So here's the same example from earlier. We have ad related jobs, university crud, improve SEO, and add another featured image as part of our product backlog. So let's say I am the product owner and it's time for me to come now and reorder this list to make sure whatever's at the top is actually what the company or the business needs. So let's take a look. We have ad related jobs and university crud. As a product owner, I'm like, hold on, we actually need university crud to be the first thing or the, the item to be at the top of the list. So let's move university crud to the top of the list. There you go. So now it's time for the development team and scrum master to break down this PBI university crud. So they've refined it into an epic because they realize this is going to be a large task for us. So using that epic, they start to define user stories. 
So you can see here's a list of the various user stories that the team has come up with. So as an admin, I would like to create a university. As an admin, I would like to delete and so on and so on. So you can see that a simple PBI has now turned into a bigger epic and with multiple user stories. Now the team needs to take each user story and add an estimate to it. Estimating. This is the time the team takes a user story and starts to estimate the amount of story points that this user story is actually valued at. So each team member gets a chance to say what he feels it is. In this case, you can see the majority is three. So majority rules and this user story will take story points equal to three. So that was an example of how you would break down a PBI. And now to finish up, always remember you need to try and split as many epics as you can. The reason for doing so is so you can understand the real value of what you want to actually deliver. Because there could be a PBI in there that is not clear. And once you start breaking it down, you realize, hold on, this there's so many user stories here. It can even be two epics. We only want to deliver one of these epics in this sprint. So it's very vital that you break, you make each PBI as small as you can. And always remember to consider the business needs as well as the technical requirements. This is why the product owner, the dev team and the scrum master are all together in this meeting. So here are some links, uh, planning poker cards and complexity buckets. Planning poker cards, um, we use that to, in our estima estimating part. Um, it's really good. It gets people involved. It's just something to do rather than sitting back and dozing off because it is sometimes two hours can be a long time. Complexity buckets, again, I'm not going to go into detail about that, but if you need to understand, just let me know. I'll create a video for you. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Please look out for the next video in this series. Please comment, like, and subscribe below. Thanks very much.